is Nightline. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. We start tonight with a clash between old-fashioned values and a modern made-for-reality TV scandal. On the show 19 Kids and Counting, Josh Duggar and his family are portrayed as a picture of wholesome perfection. Now that show has been pulled, as Josh faces accusations he sexually molested underage girls when he was a teenager. This is the story of my family. We're the Duggars. For years, the Duggar family has been portrayed on their TLC show, 19 Kids and County, as a wholesome yeah, let, Christian family with old-fashioned okay. values. All right, let's all hold hands here, okay? No TV, modest dress. This one for the double date. No cursing, and above all, no premarital sex. We decided that there was going to be no kissing before marriage. But now they are a family under fire. After allegations surfaced, their oldest child, Josh Duggar, had inappropriate contact with several underage girls beginning when he was 14 years old. The family presented itself as the perfect all-American Christian family. And all of a sudden, one of the most salacious things you can imagine, which is child molestation, goes in and people can't help but look. It's like watching a train wreck. Stunning even by reality TV standards. The news came to light when In Touch magazine obtained a decade-old police report detailing Josh's alleged molestation. According to the magazine, the heavily redacted report details how Josh, whose name did not appear, was investigated for multiple sex offenses, including forcible fondling, against five girls in 2002 and 2003. A female minor claimed that Josh touched her breasts and genitals while she slept. In Touch magazine says charges were never pressed and the statute of limitations has expired. The Arkansas Police Department told ABC News a judge ordered that the original report be expunged from his record and destroyed. It's very complex and very often these issues remain a secret. Families don't know how to deal with it and in some cases don't deal with it at all, which is the worst case scenario. Still, the disturbing allegations were acknowledged by Josh Duggar himself, writing on Twitter and Facebook, I acted inexcusably, for which I am extremely sorry and deeply regret. I hurt others, including my family and close friends. He said his parents arranged for him and the young girls to receive counseling and that he knew, quote, if I continued down this wrong road, I would end up ruining my life. Juvenile molesters are not in the same category, and that's why it's important to realize if they get treatment early on, it is possible for them to get better. Josh's parents, Jim Bob and Michelle Duggar, also issued a statement saying, when Josh was a young teenager, he made some very bad mistakes, and we were shocked. That dark and difficult time caused us to seek God like never before. There's so much shame that happens in families when this happens. The parents blame themselves or they're blaming the person who offends or the person who's been victimized, that it just makes it such a complex issue to address. I'm Josh Duggar, the executive director of Family Research Council Action in Washington, D.C. In his many public appearances, Josh Duggar touted his conservative family image. As a father of three, my wife and I are blessed to have our children, but I'll tell you, I don't want them growing up in America where they cannot even live out their own religious convictions without the government consistently trampling on their rights. He got married to his wife Anna on the family's reality show in 2008. Hi, Joshua. Take the Anna to be my wedded wife. The couple proudly waiting until they said I do to even kiss for the first time. Four years ago, my co-anchor Juju Chang interviewed Josh and Anna Duggar at the Texas Home Schooling Conference where they met. There's many different definitions of courtship, but for us, it meant really choosing purity, choosing to wait for a lot of things that people would take for granted. So our first kiss was on our wedding day. Wow. So okay, then. that's what it meant for us. <laughs> okay. All right. You know. Josh's wife Anna is expecting their fourth child, a baby girl, next month. You're going to be grandparents. <laughs> Her pregnancy has been a plot line on the show. Push, baby, push. In fact, many of the 19 Duggar children have become celebrities in their own right, with huge Instagram followers. Appearances on the covers of People magazine and Us Weekly. Their weddings, pregnancy announcements, and births followed as closely as the Kardashians. Uh, they have millions of people watching them. It really gets the ratings for them, and it's really a big buzz show on social media. Hello, I'm Josh Duggar. It's Two years ago, Josh accepted a high-profile job with the Family Research Council. I truly believe that every child deserves a mother and a father. And I'm sure grateful for mine. A deeply conservative lobbying group devoted to promoting a Christian worldview. The, the oldest Duggar was one of the public faces of the organization. We have to show courage and ultimately we have to stand up for what is right. 
but now he has resigned, effective immediately. The Family Research Council saying in a statement, we believe this is the best decision for Josh and his family at this time. We'll be praying for everyone involved. The scandal could mark the end of what was looking to be a promising career in politics for Josh Duggar. Devoutly pro-life, he and his family are active in the anti-abortion movement. That in my lifetime, we are going to end abortion in the United States of America once and for all. And campaigning for conservative candidates like Rick Santorum. Rick is a man of great courage. How's Thanks for uh, letting us come over today. And Mike Huckabee, current presidential candidate and former governor of Arkansas, the Duggar family's home state who came to Josh Duggar's defense, saying on Facebook, Josh's actions when he was an underage teen are, as he described them himself, inexcusable, but that doesn't mean unforgivable. No purpose whatsoever is served by those who are now trying to discredit Josh. But it may be, be too late marriage. to save the family's so TV show, Josh. which has been on the air for 10 seasons. I don't see a path for this family to come back from this. I don't see a path for redemption in the television world because it goes well beyond Josh. The whole brand is, is really destroyed by this. Today, TLC, the network that made the Duggars a household name, announced they are pulling 19 kids and counting off the air, saying we are deeply sad and in trouble by this heartbreaking situation. And our thoughts and prayers are with the family and victims at this difficult time. Jim, Bob, and Michelle said this is bringing the family closer to God and each other. When something like this happens within the family, it can be very destructive. And hopefully getting treatment, making an intervention, and their faith help them get through to the other side. Celebrity can certainly pay the bills. It won't bury your problems. It is a reminder as well. All that glitters on reality TV is not always gold.